Good morning, it's Lucia here from Lucia Fig Tree. Um, I thought today I'm going to show you the little granny I made at the weekend. Um, reason why, because I posted on my Facebook and a lot of people asked me questions and the details and how did I find the pattern and uh, um, what did I enjoy it, it was difficult, you know, those, those kind of stuff. So uh, first of all, I would like to start saying that the pattern is not mine. Uh, the pattern belonged to a lady called Zaya. And uh, as you can find on Ravelry, and this is my printed copy that I printed here at home, and it's free, it's on Ravelry, and at the bottom of this video I will give you all the details if you already don't have it. I saw the pattern as many of you coming up my feed and I thought it was really nice. Um, I, you know, as I crochet all the time, but uh, Amirugumi is not one of the things I do uh, often because they are really an art form and they're quite fiddly to do it. And, uh, and, and probably are not my forte as I wrote on my Facebook. But when I saw this little granny on the internet, I thought that she looks really cute and she also was useful because of most of this lovely Amirugumi are really little things that you do and uh, to give as a present or to give it to a baby or just little kind of toys to say, ooh, ah, that looks amazing or whatever. So, but this little lady here is actually very useful. So um, so when I saw it, I thought, oh, I must give it a go. So, um, because as, I don't know about yourself, but I lose all of my glasses, my pen, my scissors. I lose basically everything. I think it comes with age. I don't know. Well, anyway, so let me talk. Let's cut all that out. Let's go concentrate on this little ladies. So, mine is about 35 centimeters tall. Uh, the original one is 25. This is a little bit bigger because I used a, a DK cotton. I use some uh, um, classic cotton DK from Stylecraft. The reason being because, uh, as I said, being Snowden, um, that's all I had in the house. The original one is work with Catania um, and I think Katona from Shrepish. Um, so that's obviously is, is about a four ply and that's why the granny must is I think probably that height the original one uh, the colors again is what I had in the house so it was my choice so um two things first of all um if you're doing one for yourself make sure you stuff the head of your little lady here um really properly because mine probably need a little bit more um stuffings the neck it can be quite sort of moving um but um again is up to you i use a size three and three and a half a three for the body and a three and a half for the little aprons um a lot of people ask me about how this granny stand and what did i do with the with the with the filling and the, the stuffings and the, the weight how to weight it so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the apron off her and i'll let you see it the apron is actually really cute um is worked is quite probably took, took me longer to do the apron and everything else it's done in uh, two parts and then so you get your glasses out and all the stuff out and uh, so you can see it um is uh, done in two parts as i was saying so you have uh, a back part which is this one yeah and then you have the front big um sort of pockets which I did a couple of stitches to stitch it together so to create three smaller pocket can you see it how it works and then I had the two front little extra pocket and a little flowers because I just liked it and uh, and also I made a little trim to look quite pretty now this is the granny without the apron yeah and then uh, basically what I've done is as you can see um, the bottom here I don't know if you can see it, it's really rigid. What I've done, I fill up the granny with uh, half a packet of beans, dry beans, yeah, to give it the weight, yeah. And also at the bottom, I used one of this, this is just a, um, a coaster basically, a drink coaster. And I did that because that means that the granny is really nice and sturdy. And uh, as you can see, and made it, that's the back that uh, Zaya suggested to make on the, um, on the, bottom of the granny to keep it nice and sturdy because it's going to be full of things you want it really to be sturdy 
Um, the other things is, um, as I said, the stuff nicely, a little bun for your um, pins and everything else. The arms are gorgeous, look at this. And um, the apron worked a treat. Now, because I used a size uh, three for the body and a three and a half for the, um, ap for the apron, my apron is quite long. It just, basically my apron is as long as the actual um, figurine so where the one in the picture which is this one here yeah and the one in the picture there is sort of a gap a gap down here but mine sit really nicely at the bottom of the figurines uh, again I'm going to turn it look the back the back is lovely too so if your little granny is sitting and everybody can see her back she looks quite pretty in the back and the last things is the little face. Um, I said on my Facebook that I wasn't too sure about the eyes because I was worried the eye looks a little bit beady. Um, but a lot of people say, oh no, they are quite nice. So uh, the reason why my eyes looks like that is because obviously the head is bigger and the size of the eyes I used is probably a six millimeter instead of eight as was advice in the pattern reason being again I, that's all i had in the house so i used what i had so i gave it a little um indent you can see that maybe if i come forward towards the camera you can see better i gave a little indent on the um, eye to just give some sort of eye socket and then also i made uh, probably come further if you can see it better i made uh, some sort of uh, accent like a sclera you know the white bit of the eyes again to give a little bit more expression to the amirugumi i find that these uh, amigurumi um, are really um, the most difficult part is the eyes and the face and the expression um, but this worked out okay uh, i'm you know i'm still not 100 percent sure about the eyes um, the other things which I did, um, if you have to make, you see the little eyebrows, the eyebrows give the expression really to the little figuring. So one way to do it, because it took me a while, is like you cut a little piece, piece of um, uh, yarn, and you can position it on, on your little figuring, yeah? And until you decide where you wanted to make your eyebrows and the little figuring to have the expression you decided. So that is quite a good tip if you want to try that. Um, for everything else, well, um, I hope you will enjoy it to make your own. Uh, thank you to Zai again to just uh, share with all of us this beautiful pattern. And um, I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.